If you're a fisherman, here's a story of one that didn't get away. If you're a surfer, you'll be glad it didn't. If you're neither, just grab your seat and get ready for thrills. John Platt and Noel Doherty of Bondi are going out in this tiny ten-footer to fish for sharks. This may be okay in a fair-sized ship, but in this dinghy, oh boy. Hooks are baited with fish, which in themselves would satisfy the average angler, but these two are after bigger game. And there it is. A strike. He's a 14-foot tiger shark, much longer than the fisherman's craft. They're going to need more than fisherman's luck. There's a choppy sea. It's dangerous just standing in the boat, but when the shark fights, it's hang on or go overboard. The tiger's one of the sea's most vicious monsters and one of its most determined fighters. The powerful brute could overturn the tiny craft and must be handled carefully. Platt's hands are sore and blistered from constant jarring as the shark twists and dives trying to break loose. He's drowning the shark. Strange but true. The fight's nearly over, but a tiger shark's treacherous to the last kick. It's still too early to take chances, but they haul it alongside to get a rope round its tail. They're towing it behind the dinghy because it's too big to fit inside. That sounds like a fisherman's tail, but these boys can prove it. And when surfers know this tiger shark was hooked only a few yards from where they were catching waves off Ben Buckler, yes, they'll still be back there tomorrow. They've seen a lot of wolves on Bondi Beach, but they don't often get such a close-up view of a shark. He's a real man-eater, and hooked within a few hundred yards of the favorite surfing spot of perhaps 75,000 people each weekend. Warning to surfers, don't get away from the crowd. Next time you want to take risks, remember this gaping maw. And take it easy, brother, take it easy.